Exactly. Could you, uh, could you stop, uh, speak a little more about that? Yeah, well, this is an interesting new project that does hands-on depolarization. It's uh, all political at this point, though we like to try to experiment with the same approach in university campuses around free speech. But the idea is you get groups of committed blue voters and committed red voters, um, and you put them in a room for a structured conversation, which they don't even talk directly to each other until more than halfway through the session. Um, and they're forced to listen to each other and to see each other as human beings. And surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, this has a transformative effect. When they begin to see the people who voted for Trump or for Hillary, not as demons, but as the people they are. And they come out saying things like, wow, everyone should be able to experience that. I understand so much better. I disagree with these people. Um, but I feel much better about it now. Why can't we do this nationally? Um, the, an, an important point of this kind of session, and one which makes it a bit of a challenge to get funding for in the world we live in, is that no one goes in with the intention, we're going to change your mind. You go in with the views you have. You go out with the views you have. It's not about changing your opinion, it's about coming to listen to what the other side is saying and, and take it seriously. So yeah, we'd like to experiment with that on campus. Mm -hmm. um, we think it shows promise, it's a very different environment. Um, so I think that's, that's something that would help. I think maybe clearer signals from the faculty about protecting nonconformists in the administration right. might help. Um, I'm worried about the fact, again, I like your, your, your take, but it seems that people there's not a lot of student agreement with outright thuggishness. Mm -hmm. If my sample and I'm guessing your sample mm -hmm. are accurate, you, you, you really don't, they don't want to see violence. Uh -huh. But my Twitter feed, John. And, <laughs> and, and it's and like 100% support. And they don't want to see speakers blockaded. They're very mixed about shouting down, but they don't love that either. But the problem is the people doing that are not meeting any consequences. So the signal is being sent seem to be, okay, enforcing nonconformity using brown shirt tactics is okay on this campus. So I wonder if that's a leverage.